Hi de ho guys and welcome to day two of working with the BMW 5 series and as we looked at yesterday this is our key which is still working absolutely perfectly so far and it's actually charged up today in the wireless charging port so but let's find out a bit more about the interior of this car if this is your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button at the bottom because a new video goes out basically every day on this channel and you're gonna miss ones where I get a bit more technical but let's have a look at the interior of this now the car is started currently so let's have a look around and see what we can see of the nice stuff on the interior of the 5 series okay starting at the dash this dashboard here this is the standard mode when you when you start up this is comfort you're looking at now sport looks like that and it of course starts the bloody engine as well um, and then eco pro looks like that okay so you'll notice that in the top corner sorry a bit of a reflection on that there but in the top corner up here the rev counter completely changes to sort of a, a charge meter which is up here and it is kind of battery reserve thing that's here as well it's not a hybrid they say a hybrid comfort mode gives you a proper rev counter as you would get normally and then sport gives you another rev counter but in red with an m logo in the middle this but it is a diesel so let's not get excited i have done so far 308 kilometers and i have used that much fuel just a little over a quarter of a tank seems okay it still says i've 663 kilometers to go uh on my journey and you see that all changes the color scheme all changes every time you change each mode the default startup position for this is comfort no matter what the last thing you used is comfort is going to be it and that's that so moving on with the entertainment system so in its standard mode menu mode in here you get all of the normal communication things that you get in BMW, of course you do get connected drive, which allows you to be able to go in and ask for BMW assistance, concierge services, uh, you can have the weather, you can have the news, like the weather shows you what's happening right now, it's quite, quite nice. And controlling all this in the iDrive system, of which iDrive is still, well, a little bit worse than the Audi system. It's just an awful lot more stuff in it. It's not that it's worse, it's very good at what it does. It's just a lot of, a lot of stuff that happens on it a lot of the time. Navigation is quite good. You can have a choice of putting in the where you want to go or just looking at a giant map of the whole place. So you can see them right here in Port Leash. I'm in a car park. Um, this is all controlled from this knobby wheel thing here, which is quite nice, right? But but the secret of this thing is if I go to media here, uh, I should be able to go out that and then playing an Apple CarPlay. Okay, so this is Apple CarPlay. Now, my phone is not plugged in, and I'm gonna repeat that again. The cable for my phone is not plugged into my phone. My fo There's the cable for charging my phone, right? That's not plugged in, it's wireless Apple CarPlay, right? And you see it's starting to work out there. But usually, as in the Audi system, when you twiddle the knob, you can go across the different things you want to do on the system but that's very hard so you click that and it goes back to the beginning that's very awkward in, in the audi system it is here too you don't have to do it that way you can also do it by touching the screen the screen is actually a touch screen pardon me that's very bold of my phone to put that on the screen <laughs> but i'm sure we've all heard swear words before um and so i can click in and out of all the normal things i do including uh, maps which is here too apple maps but if i click menu i go back to the normal bmw menu which is very clever you see it ends in apple carplay so it's very very clever what you can flick in and out of things so you don't have to use apple carplay or you can use a blend of both so like i said a lot of technology stuff involved in this thing but the other part of this is of course gesture control so if i actually do go into media and I want to change the radio to the next track. I just point two fingers at the dash and it senses that I've done that, okay? You got it? So what I can do also is twiddle my finger to turn it up and twiddle my finger to turn it down. I don't want a copyright strike here, so I'm not gonna get too loud here. But you can get up and down anyway. One, then the next song, I just point your two fingers out and it changes the next song. It's fab works i thought it was a total gimmick when i when i saw it first I thought this is never going to catch on but it really does work now it only works for front two passengers the rear two passengers don't get this feature straight away um but that's why i said i want to leave this the interior of this for a special video because there's just so much stuff in here that also works as well if you just want to use um the if you go to media here and go back to fm 
like that I can I can change the radio station to same thing it just flicks between all the radio stations that are available whichever one you want to listen to just really whatever you want to listen to yourself there's but the problem with the with the iDrive is there's far too many menu levels I can go into oh, there's any amount of menus I can go into here just it just keeps going like miles per gallon here's a good one vehicle settings so I'm going to light see all of, on this side here is where you get to see all of the things you can go into from this setting okay so I drive settings mobile is a wireless charging tray I'll give a quick mention to the wireless charging tray okay because the charging tray is actually there currently the key is in it and it's got a USB port in the front of it and this is the wireless charging tray and that does actually charge the, the key although it's quite hard to get it back out of there it's kind of a fiddly hole of a thing and you can see the charge level on the top of the key up here okay when it's charging it it actually gets very hot the key I found it was quite hot anyway when I took it out last time it's not charging now funny enough and it does need a little charge see, the charge is not great out there at the very top not brilliant um, from the key you can see if the doors are open on the car or windows are open you can also see uh, other features like how much range you've got left in the car uh, what time you want to depart that so you can set the air condition to come on that's kind of it there is some more detailed stuff you can go into for each menu so you can go into kind of more more uh, detailed gear about your car as it goes along but uh, you don't really need to go into any of that and then you can just put it into the, the wireless charging area in there and it's supposed to charge up and that's that so a little word on the air conditioning system which is along here it is all manual as you can see i don't have there's the knob for the radio to turn it up and down this is all a manual setting system here there's no um there's no part of the system that's pushed onto the iDrive setting none whatsoever which is the way it should be trust me on the steering wheel bmw are the kings of steering wheels that is the thickness you can see that's quite a thick steering wheel my hand even struggles a little bit to get all around it my hands are exactly small or anything but as the king of steering wheels bmw definitely have the steering wheel of race one um it's the thickness it's the texture i know don't get me wrong these are optional i know they're optional don't panic there is no reversing camera none and uh, uh all this does is show you kind of when you turn the steering wheel it bends like that to show you where you might be going into but you have no idea and it shows you here the shape of the thing that you're looking at. So that's a hedge out in front of me. So it's showing me the shape of a hedge. Um, other than that, there's no reversing camera. Um, the mirror on that side bows down to show you what's going on. So it's showing you backwards. So let's reverse a little bit and you'll see what I mean. So it's showing me very near, just at the rear of the car is what it's showing me. And that's showing me the bending of the reversing sensor thing. There is sensors, don't get me wrong. I don't need a, a, a mirror, a camera. But it'd be nice because the visibility out the back is not exactly fabulous now. So I saw a comment yesterday that said about uh, I don't like dark interiors. I don't, it's not that I don't like black interiors. I don't like dark interiors. That's the difference. Um, the, the cabin of the Honda Civic is very dark. It, it feels very heavy on you the whole time. And this one is has got a black interior. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels quite light and bright. And you can see the sun is streaming into the windows here. It's quite nice. There's no big deal with that. That, that works perfectly. Now, I really like your opinion on this because I've done two days of videos with the 5 Series. And so far, everybody seems to love it. Uh, but there is a little bit of contention here and there. So I really want to know what you think of the Fire Series. So don't forget to leave a message in the comments below every time. I always read all your questions and I always try to answer as many questions as I can. Unfortunately at the moment, the sheer volume of questions hitting the channel is quite hard to answer everyone's question. But generally speaking, I read every single comment that is left on the channel. Um, I really do appreciate coming to look and see what I do with cars and how I do it. If you can support this channel, you can support the freedom of this channel, the ability for me to be able to say whatever I want to say about cars, please, you can go to patreon.com forward slash the next gear. Uh, at the very least, subscribe. That's all, right? Uh, you can also follow me on Snapchat. It's at Bob Flavin or Bob Flavin or however you find people. I said that yesterday in the other video or in another video a couple of days ago or something and like hundreds of you turned up on Snapchat. Where did you all come from? What were you all doing hiding out? Anyway, Snapchat, Bob Flavin's everything there. I'm on Twitter as at the next gear. Um, and on Patreon as at the next gear. If you can give money, fab. If you can't, please, at the very least, 
uh, subscribe to the channel and you can check out yesterday's video where I had a look at the exterior of this car and tomorrow's video where we're going to do a little drive around as well although I hope this weather lasts just another couple of days It'd be really nice of this weather until the next time I will see you on the far side